Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pritika and I'm a mom of two, a five year old and a nine month old. And this is Mama Hustle. So today's topic is an interesting one and a really important one in my opinion and it is postpartum recovery and how to create a postpartum uh, kit for yourself or a friend. Now, um, you know, I've had two babies, both of them were quote-unquote normal deliveries uh, and what I mean by normal delivery is that they were not c-sections but you know, they weren't the most natural, you know, pain medication free deliveries, uh, in induction free deliveries that I would have liked. Um, so with my first baby, it was actually a completely pain medication free delivery. I was not induced. I did not get any epidural and all of those things. But despite all of that, and despite being in labor for 14 hours and allowing the labor to progress really naturally and easily, I still had a lot of, um, damage um, uh, once the baby was out so I had quite a few stitches and it took a to, took a long while for me post delivery to recover uh, and there were two reasons for that one was obviously that I was healing from the stitches and um, also breastfeeding my baby exclusively which meant a lot of soreness a lot of pain it was just hell but the more important thing was I was not prepared for that so I had done all of the research on natural birthing and breastfeeding and baby care and everything that I needed to know about a new the newborn stage of the baby I read up on that you know you name it I had picked up the book and read the articles and watched the YouTube videos but I never did research on my recovery postpartum it was just about the baby but what I realized is that, you know, the baby obviously needs to be taken care of and will be taken care of by everybody. But you need to take care of yourself as well. Uh, just because it is so painful, especially if you get stitches. You know, if you are one of those lucky people who doesn't really get stitches and has had the privilege of having a completely normal birth, it would not be, recovery would not be ba as bad. But for a lot of us, you know, we get stitches and, you know, it's just, it's so painful to recover from that, um, that part of birthing. And nobody told me about that and I never read up about it. So I remember with my first baby being in complete shock of how painful it was. I couldn't, I couldn't like, you know, walk properly. I couldn't sit properly. You know, the only com position I was comfortable in was lying down. So that's what I did for two weeks. And I was just in a lot of pain. And I did start doing a lot of research and postpartum healing. And I uh, realized that there are so many things that you need to know that the hospitals and the doctors and nobody tells you about that. At least in India, nobody told me about postpartum care. They just gave me the baby and gave me some, you know, a couple of tubes of sofomycin, not even beaded in sofomycin, and uh, had me on my way. And it was like, I was like, you know, how am I supposed to, I'm in so much pain, I don't know how to deal with this. And they gave me a couple of paracetamols, but that's about it. And that's when I started doing a lot of research and realized that there is so many things that I could have done to make myself comfortable, to make the pain less horrible. Um, to take care of myself and so when I had the second baby I was completely prepared I had everything in my kit that you would need for having a baby and I'm going to show you in, in a little bit what that kit looks like but uh, it was it's I, I just basically made a little basket that I had that I kept in my bathroom so when I came back from the hospital I had everything I needed to make myself feel comfortable and take care of myself right so before I talk about these items that you need, I just wanted to talk about two things. One is that when you come back from the hospital, you do need help and you need help with the baby and you need help with yourself, but allow yourself three to four weeks to feel like you're going to get back to normal. That is really, really important. So assume you're going to be resting a lot, trying to sleep as much as possible, all of that. And second thing is you need to do research for yourself because you know, unfortunately, we live in a society, uh, and we um, the medical you know community is 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 structured in such a way that we just don't have good information about postpartum healing. Um, maybe it was just me, but all of the friends that I've spoken to felt the same way that nobody told them about that. So educate yourself. 
And with that, um, if you are having a friend or a relative or you know a sister or whoever who's having a baby, tell them about it. Talk to them about postpartum healing. I know it's not the most comfortable subject, and it can be gross, and it can be, you know, you might feel like you're scaring the person, and it, it might even feel like in this video that I'm scaring you, but I really am not. I, I want to prepare all new mums and tell them that this is how things are once you have a baby and you need to be prepared for that so you're not completely shocked at how difficult and painful postpartum healing can be so speak to your you know friends um, whoever you know who's going to have a baby and tell them about that and tell them about these things that you need and forward this video to them if you if you must so with that i'm just going to show you um, I have a friend of mine who's about to have a baby and I prepared a little kit for her and that is what I would prepare for myself if I was having another baby. Um, so uh, everything that I have put in the kit is linked down below uh, but I've just put it in a really pretty little basket because we were going to give it as a gift but if you're making this kit for yourself just find an empty basket, bin, box, whatever you have. It could be a cardboard box and add these things to that and keep them ready for when you come back from the hospital to take care of yourself. Um, another word of caution, I shot that kit um, video a couple of days earlier and light is different from this. So keep that in mind. Uh, but here is what I would pack. So this is a uh, postpartum kit that I have made for a friend of mine. I had made something really, really similar for myself. When I had a baby uh, nine months ago, so uh, you know it's not necessary that you need to make um, a little kit like this just for a friend, but you can totally make one for yourself as well. So I have a little basket, and then in here I have got some mother's lactation tea, and this tea has got some herbs like fennel ginger shatavari fenugreek all of these things that are really good for milk production so i have a little bag of tea for that um which i think is a nice touch like this is anyways a really relaxing tea but also has lactation benefits so that's what i have i have several little bags of intimate wipes and the reason i add these is because when you've just had a baby if you've had it in you know a vaginal delivery uh, it can, you know, there, you know, the the new mom can experience a lot of soreness. Um, it's just really uncomfortable, uh, and you can't really use water uh, to clean yourself or toilet paper. So these are great. Uh, they're really gentle, and this is the Serona brand. These are really gentle and um, you know effective and really help in freshening up, uh, you know, the nether regions. <laughs> and then uh, we have some witch hazel and what's awesome about this is that it comes in a glass bottle which is great so you can reuse this later but also that uh, it it comes in a spray so you can actually spray it in um, uh, uh, you know uh, after your postpartum soreness uh, that you know you can uh, there are many many issues that you can have postpartum like soreness itchiness your stitches are you know if you've had stitches they are healing as well and witch hazel really does help with the itching and just uh, makes you feel really comfortable so you can spray a little bit on in um, the vaginal area and really helps with um, uh, getting rid of the itchiness same for a hundred percent natural aloe vera gel this one is from urban botanics but there are many good uh, companies now selling 100% pure aloe vera gel and again this can be used to, to apply in the vaginal area or even on the c-section scar if you have one uh, sorry in the c-section um, sort of area when it's getting itchy you know when it starts to heal the stitches start to heal it gets really itchy and sore and so this is a really natural way of sort of calming the skin in that area it's also great for applying uh, on the baby's bum uh, if you see a rash coming on and just a great all-around natural product. So I highly recommend this as well for the kit. And then this we I have some bamboo um, nursing pads. So this is the absorbent part in here 
and then a waterproof part and so unlike disposable nursing pads these are great because they are washable you can reuse it multiple times and they're extremely extremely soft and quite absorbent as well uh, then I've also added a little nursing cover here. Although I'm not the biggest fan of nursing cover, I do feel that for first time moms who are just learning to nurse and getting comfortable nursing in public, it provides a huge um, confidence booster to have a nursing cover like this. It's also great for covering, as you can see, uh, infant car seats, you know, uh, high chairs, it can be used as a scarf. It's all around a great multi purpose product. And I just really recommend this, especially for the first few uh, months of breastfeeding when new moms are just getting used to breastfeeding and getting confidence with nursing in public. Um, so yeah, I added that as well. And then obviously a bunch of um, uh, a bunch of uh, sanitary mat pads, a handwritten note is always nice, so I have that in here. And then these are disposable underwear. Uh, and the reason I think that this is crucial, even though this is not a very sustainable thing, is that um, uh, you uh, in, in the first few days you might have a lot of leakage due to a lot of bleeding and having disposable underwear just ensures that you don't have to deal with cleaning uh, the underwear, especially when you're in the hospital, uh, you know, how are you going to handle laundry and all of that and even when you're home with the baby there's just a lot of stuff to do and you know your underwear should be the last of your concerns so i've added about six to seven disposable underwears to tidy over for the first week or so so that's what you would add in a kit and just make one for yourself or a friend put it in a little basket and put it in the bathroom so the new mom has everything that she needs for recovery i would add two more items and i didn't add those items in here because um uh, one of the items my friend already had and the second item is just a bit, bit weird to give as a gift but if you were to buy for yourself you should so the first item is a heating pad now you get electric ones and you get hot water bottles I prefer the electric pads. I think they're safer just because hot water bottles can leak and cause more damage than good. But it's just really good for even if you've got a C-section scar, it helps with, you know, soothing that area. Just putting a little bit of uh, warm uh, heating pad on top of the C-section scar or even in the perineal area, it really helps with soothing uh, the soreness and the pain that the mom will feel. So. Um, uh, um, a heating pad is a great addition to this kit and the second thing guys is a sits bath get if you're having a baby get a sits bath uh, you know if you have a bathtub you can you know sort of sit in a warm bath and that will help with alleviating the pain and the soreness as well but a sits bath is a lot more effective you can do it multiple times a day it's basically like a basin that you put on top of your like regular toilet seat and you fill it with warm water and you sit in it and the warm water really helps with soothing the pain itchiness soreness whatever it is that you're feeling in the perineal area it helps with soothing that you can also add a little bit of epsom salt to it you get epsom salt really easily in most medical stores and it's available online as well i'll link it down below again and again mix a little bit of epsom salt some warm water sit in that it really helps guys with um with the pain and the soreness do it multiple times a day um i i used to use a sit bath i would say like five to seven times a day whenever i was feeling that that and the, you know the pain coming on i would have my pain medication and use the sit spot i felt like the sit spot helped more than the pain medication did and i didn't have that with my first baby and it's it's mind-boggling to me that new moms are not told about sit spots at all um, so I highly recommend those two things as well and just take care of yourself eat, eat lots of good food healthy and nutritious food uh, take care of yourself take care of your body um, if you have a friend who has had a baby who you just given the kids to take care of her you know drop in for a chat and a cup of tea uh, all of those things really help with postpartum re recovery as well um, I have a video coming up about a postpartum depression uh, and I'll speak about that later but just for the physical part of it this kit and these couple of tips would really help you with recovering uh, if you have any questions at all or if you would like to add anything to this kit and suggest it 
please write that in the comments below or on Instagram. Uh, let me know about that. It's just faster to get like these messages on Instagram. And I would uh, love it if you would share this with a uh, mom who's expecting to have a baby or know somebody who's having a baby. Um, uh, share it and, and I hope we can spread the message about postpartum recovery and everything that you need for it and how important this topic is. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see similar kind of videos around motherhood, parenting, plot diapering, uh, you know, nutrition, DIY, these kind of things, just subscribe to my channel and share it with people and um, hit the like button if you like this video. I will see you in my next video.